back again making another recipe this one is going to be the easy simple mochi recipe it calls for sweet rice flour I'm going to use the Mochiko brand this one is gluten free I'm going to use about a cup of this along with a cup of water and then half a cup of just plain um, white sugar you're going to need um, you're going to need a steamer pot. This one, I'm just going to use a small one because I'm going to use um, just enough uh, sweet rice flour to be able to fit into this bowl. This bowl fits perfectly into here. But you could always double or triple this recipe and um, use the sugar to taste. But definitely use sugar because the sugar allows for the, the sweet rice flour to be um, elastic-y. Um, so definitely need the sugar on that. Aloha friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make ube mochiko. Now previously on my video I had uh, shown you guys how to make the basic uh, mochiko recipe. I will link that below. And then um, I also have a recipe in here how to make Filipino uh, ube halaya. It is my mom's recipe and it's absolutely delicious. So I will link that as well. So you have both of the recipes of the mochiko and the ube. So I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to put fillings onto your basic mochiko recipe. And you can fill it with anything you want. But today I'm going to um, do the ube. Let's get started. I have my mochiko. It's still nice and warm. Easily um, pliable to work with. And then I'm just doing it over a cookie sheet. So excuse the... The, um, the metal noise. I'm just gonna get some, pinch it, and then add a little bit of potato starch. And then I'm just gonna work the edges until you get a nice uh, circle. Okay. You don't want the middle part to be too translucent, too thin, because that's where you're gonna have the filling in the middle, and it's gonna have the effect of the weight of the filling in there, and you don't want that to be um, too thin but you do want the sides to be kind of thin because you're going to wrap it so I got that I have my ube here I made this last night put it into the fridge so it's nice and cold perfect dessert for the summertime and then I'm just gonna push that in yeah, until I get a filling okay be generous with your filling because otherwise you're just tasting um, the sweet rice flour, the mochiko or sweet rice flour. Okay, so you're just going to push that in. You could also um, make this ahead of time and roll it into a ball. And I'm just going to pull the sides in, creating a seal. Okay. Now both the mochiko and the ube are kind of sticky. So you just got to pinch it in like that and then you can get it just seals itself and then you just kind of work it and then put um, a little bit more cornstarch just so that it's not sticking to your hand work it in circles so that you have a nice dome shape and that's going to be your nice muchiko that's it friends that's how easy it is to make muchiko Okay, let me show you again. Squeeze it. And you're squeezing mostly the, the edge part and then you find which one is like the prettiest side to work with. Okay, just flatten it. Squeeze the edges. Okay. Put in your filling, nice generous filling, okay, I'm going to make two because I have my friend over and we're going to taste my mochiko. So how I came up with this recipe is because I love mochiko and you can fill it with anything and I love ube so I figured you know what, why not put the two together? So you have a Filipino dish with a Japanese dish. Okay friends, thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this ube mochiko recipe. Mahalo! Here is my mochiko. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and slice it. 
in half so you guys can see what it looks like. Like I said, you guys can use any filling you want. My kids love it with chocolate, chocolate pieces on the inside. Strawberry and chocolate would be so nice. Oh my gosh, look at that friend. Look at that color. All right, I gave my friend, Miss Mary, the other half. So good. <laughs> and I have this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste. Oh my God. Mm. I know. It's just mm. heavenly. Mmm, so good. The Muchico itself is um has a nice sweetness, not too sweet, not dry, not flavorless, very perfect in sugar, and then very soft. And then the flavor of the Muchico, or I mean and then the flavor of the ube just goes so well together. Mmm. I know. Okay, friends. We're gonna eat this and we're gonna have fun. Thank you for stopping by. Mahalo.